All right, well, I finally got my one-inch uh, neodymium sphere magnet that I've been waiting for to come in the mail. And uh, this is a very, very strong uh, magnet. Uh, and I'm using it with a standard Vedini circuit. And it replaces the uh, hematite ball that I've been using in my other videos and other experiments. It's a much stronger magnet. Uh, what I have here is a bifiler coil that... Uh, is part of the Bedini circuit. It's a standard Bedini SSG circuit. This is an induction coil. There's nothing there but wire and an LED. It's 30 gauge wire, about uh, 785 feet. Just bought it at the store, hooked up an LED on it just to show the induction coming off of this. And the way this starts up is uh, I just hook it up here and I've got a 12 volt uh, power source and you see the circuit's drawing 10 milliamps right now. That's my amp draw. Uh, there's the voltage on the battery. It's about 12.75 on the source. This is a charged battery it's going into. It's a 12 volt battery. It's an identical battery. And I have a capacitor here to show the uh, charging that's going on on the back end side. Now to start this up, you just put the coil over the ball and give it a little spin. And off it goes. See the little LED firing up. It's an induction. I'll dial this down to where it normally runs here. About 10, 100, 100 milliamps or so. And that ball is actually pretty darn stable right there. You'd think it would be unstable, but it's not. I put this little cover over here to quiet it down a little bit. This induction coil, by the way, regulates the speed of it. It pulls off power puts a load on the ball and you can adjust the speed by moving that induction coil in and out. Okay, let me show you the charging over here. I'm going to disconnect the battery right here and show you the charging going on a uh, 2200 microfarad 50 volt cap. Put this on the other scale. See how fast that charges on up. Okay, I'll discharge it here. This is charging coming off the back end of the Bedini. This is how these Bedinis work. They, they capture the collapsing field spike and they shove it in the capacitor or battery. Anyway, that's my uh, neodymium ball magnet Bedini. Right here it rev up, here we go. There it goes. <laughs> you see it didn't fly off the table, it didn't run through the window, it didn't do anything. It it's kind of not as dangerous as you think it is. It really uh, doesn't cause any problems at all.